Being the son of Denzel Washington was and Paul out of Washington and Paul and Paul. Thank you. And who Paul was earning more money than he was when they when they married when they before they got married. She was on Broadway working. She paid for the first date. But he just interjected him. She's a classically trained pianist, and you know, oh God, she, <laughs> she split paid. the atom. You know what I mean? It's just like, girl, you shut she up. Paid Look, I called him a girl. Oh. I accidentally called him a girl. I said, girl, shut up. And he's a man. It's like I he, accidentally thought he, he was accidentally did because that. that's how he's acting like a woman. So hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Um, so there's a picture of Rihanna. Why are they always having the woman be in front? Just the whole, the whole, her whole demeanor. She's like, follow me. I mean, she looks like a single mother with two kids. She, like her older son and her little boy. You know it does. And also, that's just a stupid picture. It's a dumb picture. I don't even like the way she looks. She looks gigantic. Yeah. He, they but look isn't like that little, the is that the reason that I don't they, know? But she just looks like a, a she looks like a, a giant. <laughs> and then they look like little little people. Right. <laughs> that's just an awful picture. It bothers me when they do pictures like this. I mean, that picture was done on purpose. Shame on ASAP Rocky. Is that who it is? ASAP Rocky's his name. Shame on him for taking that picture. But of course, she's the billionaire. He's not. So, he's not. Yeah. He's know. just riding her coattail on this. I think he's a rapper, right? He's a rapper as well. Mm -hmm. But this, this, the whole idea that they're doing this, the fact that they do this, it's like what we're saying in the video with the the uh, the slave thing. What's mm -hmm. it called? Those? The Proud family, having all those girls up there. To show that, that, you know, girls are who runs the world. Girls, having the girls talk mm -hmm. like this and be in charge. And now they got her dragging basically him along. I don't even think they're married. I think they're just boyfriend Yeah, I think you're right. I think they're just boyfriend and girlfriend. But this, this is what's wrong with the black community, this not is, white people. This is, yeah. But, this is this is what black men are, this is how black men are being represented. Yeah. If they're not being represented like, you know, little Nas X, mm -hmm. then the straight black man is being... Uh, represented like this this yeah. little mama's boy i yeah. need a woman to lift me up and, right. and feed me and uh it's exactly and I'll, like. be, I'll be the little i'll be the the baby nurturer while she goes out and makes all the money and then she gets all the glory yeah and then you know this relationship won't last i mean when relationships like this they they're meant to make a to make a statement, statement yeah but they always end up going down the crapper you know why because eventually women get turned off yeah. by these men you know what i mean and she mm -hmm. will too they you I mean, know I mean, it's just she will too and he'll eventually be emasculated this is what tia what tamari to T tia Mari, exactly the same thing these relationships um aren't men we got share right now dating a 30 uh, she's 73 and she's dating a man who's 37 <laughs> a black guy a black guy he's not he's not a white guy he's a black guy and this is what i'm saying this is what black men mm -hmm. are becoming beta males that are being uh led around by the neck by a bunch of Women. Masculine women. And if it's not these women, because these are just celebrity women. But anytime I go online and I see these black men, you know, hoisting up uh, feminism all the time. Stop doing always that. Always trying to, oh, you know, we build an empire together. And it's just like, you know what? You know, even Chelsea Handler, who we're going to talk about, was dating 50 Cent. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like these women that sort of um, treat black men, you know, Chris Jenner. Is dating a black man. They all you know, go to they're all going to black yeah. men because they feel like black men like to be taken care of. Yeah, and so they they they, they break off the leash. Mm -hmm. This comes from yeah. men being raised by women too long. This is what happens. Mm -hmm. when we have generations of of, mm -hmm. of the matriarchy in the black community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where men are always. It's just like whenever you see like when football players, mm -hmm. the first thing they they, they um, pledge their allegiance to mama. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like if they're always calling out to their mom. You know, You're the real MVP. Who, who's, who's that? Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Durant did that. Remember You're grandmama? The <laughs> yeah, I remember that. His mother was always right. on there. You know what I mean? It's just like, um, you never this, is, this is it. This is what's destroying our community. This sort of no patriarchy at all. Mm -hmm. Gener this is generations of, this mm -hmm. is since the 60s. Generations yeah. of women being the matriarch right. and the breadwinners of black families. And black men just kind of accept it sometimes. There's yep. a few, I'm not saying not all of them, yeah. but I mean, not the ones that kind of watch us. I'm just saying yeah, in you general. Guys aren't. <laughs> yeah, right. And just in general, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then when black men get mad at black women because we're sassy, rude, and whatever, and I'm like, you have nobody to be mad at, but also your own, <clears throat> not just black women, but black men. They go yeah. along with this. You know what I mean? Van Jones. Mm -hmm. Crying. Crying. Because Donald Trump, Donald Trump won. won. I can't believe Donald Trump won. Crying on TV. You know what I mean? It's just like this whole. You watch ESPN, and some of those men do cry. It's just, it's just, it's like it's, it's like, what? You know, gross. It's like you know, you 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 gotta you gotta 
This this is the reason He's why I liked him. Kevin Samuel. Yeah, right. I was just watching you guys. I watched a um, five hour interview with Andrew Tate and the PBD um, podcast. Andrew Tate talked in detail about masculinity and the f the men who are engulfed in their too engulfed in their emotions, and it's creating this beta behavior. And so, and then they become subject to these kind of women that do this. It's the same thing when you watch, what's her name on the red carpet? Cardi B and her husband. Oh, he's always yes. like, he's always like fixing her dress. Her, and her hair. And her hair. Okay, it's like, what is this? He's fixing her dress and her hair. It's like, what? You know, Denzel Washington's son. Oh yeah, you know, they, they go that. and they go and, uh, you know, they go and talk about the fact that his son is an actor. Yeah. And and he goes, no, we have to, you know, he chased homage to his mom. It's just like, what about your dad? Yeah. Your dad's the actor. Right. Business. <laughs> Being the son of Denzel Washington was... And Paul Lada Washington. And Paul, and Paul, thank you. And who Paul was Washington. earning more money than he was when they when they married, when they, before they got married. She was on Broadway working. She paid for the first date. She paid the bill, paid the cab ride. So, uh, you know, a classically trained pianist, went to Juilliard. Sure. You know, she's a, she's a great artist in her own right, you know, and I learned a lot from her. My, my father taught me how to hunt. My mother taught me how to love. This man doesn't even feel comfortable picking up his father in a real way mm -hmm. instead of beating up his mother because of his career. And you know that you know what you know that's true. Career woman. Because if Paulette had been the the actress and he was not the the famous one, mm -hmm. she he wouldn't turn around and say um, and and, and, and he wouldn't his, say that. He was support of my mother. Nope. He was he wouldn't do all that. You know why? Because it's gonna serve him and his business. And right now and, we're the year of the woman. Mm -hmm. They always say. And so now we're the big about this man doesn't even feel so comfortable. So black men don't he do he identifies with his mother more than he does with his, his father. father. Or he's saying. Or he's just pretending. Or he's so pretending. That he can get ahead in his business. And that's I, sad. I'm, a, I'm I'm like grossed out by that. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is because men, you're, when you are a child, the sex, your mother, my mother is, even if my dad had been a, mm -hmm. in, in my life, I would probably have been a daddy's girl, but mm -hmm. I would have been, my mother would have been the example of womanhood for me mm -hmm. because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. Right. I wouldn't be looking for my father as a, as an example of womanhood. Right. He would be the guy that showed me, you know, oh, who, to, yeah. who to look for in a man when I'm going out to look. But, but as, as a woman, mm -hmm. it's all, it would always have been my mom mm -hmm. because my mother is the example. She's the first example for me and Danielle. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't then, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't then exclude my mother oh, when I'm right. getting an award and then start talking about just my father. Like the way you know I mean? the way he did it though, because the guy asked the question and then he um, he went too far too. Like he didn't really ask a question. He well, he just kind of made a statement and then he just went on and Pauletta. Watch it and do it's like why are you doing that? Why why are you First of all, it sounded like what he was gonna say is as the father, as the son of a man who's this successful, yeah. how does it make you feel, feel to be an up and coming actor? Do you feel like you have to be it's like what all celebrities' kids mm -hmm. have to go through when their parents like it's like Lisa Malia Presley mm -hmm. and Elvis Presley, uh Priscilla Presley all was them, always yeah. worried about her being a singer because her father was who he was. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he was probably gonna act something similar along, but he just interjected him, she's a classically trained pianist and you know, God, she <laughs> split the atom. You know what I mean? It's just like, girl, shut she up. Look, I called him a girl. Oh! I accidentally called him a girl. <laughs> I said, girl, shut up. And he's a man. It's like I accidentally he, thought he, he was accidentally did because that. that's how he's acting like a woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, come on. You said that very naturally. It's yeah, by accident. Because he is acting like a woman. I'm not saying that his mother didn't have a part in his life. No. I'm not saying that. You need two parents. I think that's great that he had both parents. But what I'm saying is, it's is God. that when someone asks you a direct question about your father, because he's in the business, you're not your mom. And then you, know you I mean? go left. She's only known yeah. because he's famous. Yeah. I don't care what she did with him before she paid for the dates and all yeah. that, what he was saying. You know what I mean? It's just like... And you, do the, yeah, you, you take the car off the road quickly and just go right into boom. And Pauletta Washington. The society is making it to where it is impossible to big up a man. The patriarchy. It's like it's impossible to do it's it. It's like at this he point. thinks his father couldn't have been anything without yeah. his mom. It's like he's just like like he wouldn't have been a, an actor. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's an you know what I mean? Talk. It's just like, I'm not saying again, I'm not saying she had nothing to do with it, but what I'm saying is that was just too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was like insecurity. Like it, it was weird. It was just just weird. Like it's just like, what are you talking about? He actually was about to ask you one simple question, mm -hmm. and then you went right into my mother. You know, played the classical piano. She bought the first date. She did this. She did that. She just like, okay. 
Well, let, well fabulous. Yeah. We're talking about your dad, though, because he won an Oscar in the business you're in, and yeah. the business I'm in. Um, cause she's because she's not as successful. Right. <laughs> because we're in a talk. <laughs> Because my father just blew away the acting career. I mean, he's like the best actor there ever. This is Washington. Look, this is Washington to me. Yeah. Just to me, is probably the, the best, best actor, actor in the world. I'm gonna keep it real. I mean, there are I mean, some. Like, look, we got some Jack Nicholsons out there, yeah. and I would like say, it. but Tom Meryl Streep's and yeah. all. I said, but this is Washington for me. It's probably the best actor. Best actor. I mean, it's real hands down. Hand down. But I mean. Even I don't if even he, gotta know the movie. I'll just go watch it because I know it's gonna be good. But even if he is like tired of being in the shadows of his father, let's say he's tired of him in this moment, it still doesn't. It, it still doesn't make sense to me why somebody you are the male, mm -hmm. so you're supposed to identify with the male parent mm -hmm. more so than anything, Especially right? When you're a boy. Especially no, when you're a boy. God. But even in this moment. He's asking about Denzel because we're talking about acting. Mm -hmm. So it's not like this guy brings up at a dinner. Yeah. Part, you know, you're at dinner and then you just people keep bringing up Denzel. I would get that would be kind of annoying. But we're, he's acting. He's doing a movie and he's referencing his father because his father is freaking Denzel Washington. Of course people are going to ask him about that. So maybe he's just tired of hearing that. But Steve, even then, I'm like, why would you not identify with such a man like that? Like, when, remember Melania, when Melania Trump first, uh, you know, when, when Donald ran, everybody was putting her down because she used to be a nude model and yeah. they were all calling her a hoe and everything, comparing her to Michelle Obama, Obama saying yeah. Michelle Obama went to Harvard and she's was this, she's an attorney and everything. I was like, yeah, but just like her, no one knew who she was she until was her husband. Yeah, right. Michelle Obama has done a lot of things, but the truth is no one gave a hoot about her until yeah. her husband won the presidency. Yeah. No one would know her. And I don't honestly, care how many degrees that she had, nobody on a worldwide platform like she is now would have ever known her had her mm -hmm. husband not have won the presidency. Just like Melania Trump, right. no one would really care. Right. And now, quite frankly, um, now that he's pre Obama is not president anymore, mm -hmm. um, people really don't care anymore yeah. about Michelle Obama either. Although she's trying to make herself relevant. Now I, I can guess. tell you that Rihanna's son is going to talk about. They're going to talk about Rihanna because her father, his father, is pretty much in the background. He's, he's holding he's the holding baby in her hand and onto her coattails. Yeah. He's she's come on yeah. child. The same thing with Cardi B's son. Yeah. The same. The same. The same thing with all of these women that are really Why successful. Why do they do this? You know what I mean? And all I was, kids are worship them. I was looking at, there's a picture of Nia Long that it went viral because um, she was at some kind of a premiere or something. And it was a si similar situation and people were making fun of, I think it's even Amar Amarion. She's like, it's like a toddler. Mm -hmm. That's a toddler hold. Come with me. I don't know if she went with him mm -hmm. or she just saw him there. It's a grown man. And they're being dragged along and these men are just going along with it. I could, you know, I can go on Facebook so and funny. I would never hear. Uh, Father's Day is like, yeah. If Father's Day is like, uh, you know, it's a you fleeing thought. Pin drop. Oh, it's a fleeing thought. It's just like most black men I know don't really even have a good relationship with their father, but then Mother's Day comes and it's just uh, oh. Mama through the years. It's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like Mama when she was ten, bring up the Mama and her, her now. But you, if Father's Day comes along mm -hmm. and it's it's barely. Like black men on mm -hmm. my page, I have a lot. I know a lot of black men. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean on my Facebook page, mm -hmm. and it's just like. It's like it's like men didn't exist. Like fathers don't. They don't really. And some of them have. By the way, some of them have have, yeah. have their fathers. I'm not. So, I can get. I guess why some of them, they would be this way because they don't have fathers, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of the men that I know actually do have fathers, but they big up their mothers more than anything. And I'm not saying that you should not mm -hmm. do that. I love mothers. I think mothers are great. You know, the ones that are great. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they're wonderful. I love mothers. But it's just, it's just like we don't acknowledge men, period. Right. And it's specifically when they have a role of a father and they actually are being a father. It's like they don't even exist. They're putting men in the background. That, that picture is just like a metaphor for everything that's happening right now. Which is why it went viral with Rihanna. This, that cover. Mm -hmm. And why this is. Mm -hmm. Come along, come along. It's because this is a metaphor of, of what is happening. I mean, everybody you know, did, not, okay, no. did not see. I mean, if you did not see what happened to Will Smith when he went to go slap her, <laughs> this is what happens when you put women. Right. This is what happens when you make women yeah. your God. Yeah. You make a fool of you yourself. You make a fool of yourself. And these men are making fools of mm -hmm. themselves publicly. They are. And I'm just sorry. I don't like it. I, I don't. I'm uncomfortable They're, with. Um, I'm uncomfortable mm -hmm. seeing women be so like rihanna i didn't i don't i'm not into her music i think i like that one umbrella song yeah that's it the rest of her oh, music yeah. is not my type of music but that umbrella song i did like mm -hmm. you know what i mean um 
but she did the Super Bowl halftime. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting there pregnant and grabbing her crotch and everything. And all I can think <laughs> is, it's like, I Love hate it. when I see women in the most, like the most feminine role you can be. And that's pregnant or, you know, just doing something yeah. so tawdry and gross. It's like Cardi B when she was over there still trying to twerk. And she was like eight months pregnant. Okay, it's like gross. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen a woman in her wedding dress smoking? That's just the most grossest oh, thing. I, know. I hate when women are in the most feminine se section of their life acting like... <laughs> Like, like truck drivers. Oh, that was you know what I mean? Yeah, like a trucker. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I hate this. I don't like this. This is not. But this, this is, is not femininity. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is. Someone go. Oh, women can do everything. No, we can't. No, we and can't. no, we should. Okay. And just because you can does not mean you should. Yeah. By the way, I don't know why everybody thinks just because they can do something, they should just go and do it. I guess men you are know? just. I guess men right now are just background, background yeah. pictures. They're just background noise. Just put them back there. That's what we're doing. And because some of these, most of these men have been raised by just yeah. women. They're used to this. Mm -hmm. It's not anything new. They're most. They're. I mean, like I said, that number, that that single mother rate, mm -hmm. that goes for everybody that's right. black in America. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that is a that is a high number of generational mm -hmm. motherhood. Yeah. You, you know, know what I mean? even even in the course of us doing this video right now, we were trying to pull up the um, the uh, Denzel Washington. The, I'm sorry. What's his name? Washington. John David. Washington. Mm -hmm. We're trying to pull up his the video of him saying all the things about Pauletta, and there's a commercial before that. It was Serena Williams' commercial. She's some commercial she was doing, and it shows her husband's in the kitchen with the babies, mm -hmm. and he's doing all the you know he's in the background. He's in the background, and she's picking up the thing. I'm thinking, and all of her commercials have been like that. I think there was a Super Bowl ha a Super Bowl halftime. See, I didn't watch. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, it's not my thing. I didn't even watch. The only reason I saw the other things like the the Black National Anthem and Rihanna, I didn't even watch them. I just um, it, people were talking about it, mm -hmm. but I don't. Watch, I don't know football like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But. Um, there was a, you know how they have the halftime commercial or mm -hmm. the, uh, fo you know, the commercial, the Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. And there's one where they were making fun of, I think, um, mm -hmm. I think Michael Knowles did a video on uh -huh. it where the girl was playing flag football. Yeah. They had a woman talking about flag football and nobody can get her. And so then she, <laughs> she says something to the reporter and then she goes off and starts footballing like the lady says something and the, she tries to grab her flag like mm -hmm. see no one can grab your flag and then the, the reporter tries to grab it and then she goes you know like try to you can't grab my flag and then she just starts trying to run through like the crowd and all these men including NFL athletes can't grab her flag oh, okay and I'm like this is so this is such a lie yeah it's such first a of lie. all you will get <laughs> you will get you go, go ahead go ahead and play with those Super Bowl guys <laughs> right I'll see that I would like to see if you can still have those two flags hanging off your side. I would see if you even still I mean, have legs. <laughs> if you still have arms hanging off. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a, it it is is a false, lie. It's just a false narrative of our strength. Our strength is limited. You know what I mean? There are only certain things that women can do. It's like, yeah, we're, just, it's like we're trying to, we're just trying to um, top, topple men, eliminate the idea of a man being in charge mm -hmm. or the patriarchy. We're trying to make sure they have a minor role here in the world. Mm -hmm. We're just diminishing the idea they, they are necessary whatsoever. It is, it's, it's upsetting to me because I'm like, the role that, that men, real men, play in this world is so necessary that we wouldn't even be able to do the things we do if they didn't. I mean, we would not... People would not be able to do a fraction of what we were able to do if it wasn't for men. And we All are pretending these, that they yeah, are nothing. And they're not, including Paulette, his wife. What the? You know what I mean? All of the stuff that makes mm -hmm. us independent yeah. came from men. Right. The reason why we can be so independent is because men made it for us that way. Mm -hmm. If this were still the 1900s and we were still planters and farmers mm -hmm. and we were still building this country, women would be grabbing a husband in a second at, oh, yeah. at, at age 17. <laughs> I need a man, including Hillary Clinton and AOC exactly. and all of these women who think that they're such such mm -hmm. independent. This is the reason why you can be so independent is because you're not doing any. You're not being. You're not working in the coal mines. No. You're not working. You know, as not even really cop. Cops are mostly men. Mm -hmm. It's still dominant. And so is the military. Right. And so the men who actually, the infrastructure of this country is still men. It, 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 and I, I'm going to. I don't go, see any women running yeah. to take any of those positions because they're hard. They're very hard, physically hard. I'm going to go on a limb and say that it will. It, it's it's men. The infrastructure of this country is men. And um, I'm going to go off on a limb and just say it always will be. 
Yeah, and because they're always going to be because because of because of how they are mentally and physically, they're always going to be willing participants in doing the things that we simply do not want to do, and honestly can't. And we I mean, don't. It, 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 and it, we can't it, do it. it. Really, things like this, yeah. like that picture, that flag football girl, and that that fo that Super Bowl commercial. Right. You know. Uh, you know. John David Washington. Right. Him. Things like Cardi B. Mm -hmm. All these things just make me cringe because I, I know it. that it's not real. I know. It's, it's not funny. a real thing. And this has nothing to do with me like trying to make men feel better about themselves Some of that. or anything like that. It's just the fact. It is a yeah. fact that men are just stronger than women. And, and that yeah. and physically stronger and made that way for a mm -hmm. reason. It is a fact that we are the only ones that can bear children. Mm -hmm. Men can't do that. We you have I mean? our place. So we why, have why our are place. We not, and it's a strong place. Yeah, but it's, we have our place. But why, yeah, I was gonna say that it, it is a, it's it's a, a strong, strong place. place. Why are we acting like our role is the minimal too? Like, why are we doing that? Which oh, vindicates me in that yeah. video we did. Remember when the guy wrote that I said that I was a woman first? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, not black. And then he said, he, because I'm technically black in the womb first. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, this is, see, these women, this is the reason why I'm a woman first. Because yeah. when you're a black woman, this is what you end up being. Yeah. And this is why I said that. Yeah. I didn't say that because I'm saying that I, I care, I don't care about black people being black. What I'm saying is that there is an attitude that comes with being a black woman. Yeah. And this is it. You drag your man along. Yeah. Um, I, you just, you follow me. But that, that picture alone is just showing, it's, it's like representing what is going on today. Mm -hmm. Follow me. I'm in charge. Mm -hmm. Hold the baby. Do all the stuff. You know, and people, you know what people will say? They will say, "Oh, it's just a picture. You guys are taking this too." No, too it's not. No, no, no. This, it's this, not a this is the this is framework. Mm -hmm. This is them put, planting the seed, extra seeds. Now, now we're just in it. But this is them making sure that we stay on course. Women are ruling, mm -hmm. and we need you guys to pretend to think that that's true because they're not. If women it's ran gross. this country, it's in gross. the words of Gothics, if women ran this country, it'd be a communist crap hole. It would be. Because we do everything based on how we feel. feel. Everything. And then we ruin feelings. things with that. You can't run a country, a house, a business, or anything with feelings all day. Sure you can. have to have some sort of logic mm -hmm. there. And I think men are just better than that. I think they're built that. They're better in mm -hmm. that position than we are. Just This is why I don't believe in having a woman president. It's not because I don't think that women aren't capable to do anything. It's just that I don't think it's our place. Yeah. Just because we should. Just because we can doesn't mean that we should. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just like... You are going mm -hmm. to lose out on a lot of your womanhood trying to mm -hmm. be a, a this powerful man. person. It's like those those types of positions are not best suited for us. No, they're not. They simply are not best suited for us. Just that kind of leadership in that way. I just don't think that it is. And so, I think that when we get that type of mm -hmm. powerful leadership role, we do things like this. Put him in the background. Immediately, we're dumping him in the back, mm -hmm. and we're not. It's like. And that's why I said the, the polls it's are crazy. Crazy. Women were much more happier in the fifties and the fifties and before fifties, forties. Yeah. Women were much more happier then than we are now. Yeah. How can that be? If women's rights were supposed to help us and do all this, mm. then why is it that women are so unhappy all the time? Yeah, so why bad. are we? Why have we become such angry people yeah. that are always? Yeah. It's like we're always trying to be like every time you see like women. On, even if they're Asian or mm -hmm. white, but they're on TV, mm -hmm. they're always having to be sassy to show that they're funny. Why? It's like all the the com female comedians are just rude. Yeah, they're just, right. It's like they feel like they have they can't be, you can't be like happy mm -hmm. a happy woman. Yeah, you have to be ballsy and be mad at being pregnant all the time and being mad at being married and being mad at mm -hmm. making less than men and being mad. You always it's like you, we're always complaining. Mm -hmm. Right, it's all true. the time, and that's the only time you get to hear a woman is when she's complaining. That's it's, it. It's annoying to me. It's annoying to me. It doesn't matter how rich they get. Yeah. It doesn't matter how rich and privileged they get. As long as they continue the babble mm -hmm. of of women are, yeah, you know, no. second class citizens. No, we're not. No, we're not. I mean, as you can see, men have stepped aside. Yeah, so. They're, 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 really, they're willing to be the women now. Which is what I thought was interesting about the Andrew Tate um, interview I was watching because he was really talking extensively about that. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, these are, this is a group of kind of like real alpha kind of males. And he's like, you know, it, men have got to pick up up their balls, balls and get back in the game because this is their t women are going to start taking over i'm telling you men, women you get them a, you know if you give us an inch we'll take a mile you know so it's, it's like i agree with that but when i see this i think I, my first thought process is this is such a metaphor of what's going on right now he you men are being looked at as background noise and vogue is and, like the number one magazine yeah. so the fact that anna wintour would put um put that mm -hmm. on her cover like that yeah it's just like 
course, you, you know, of course, in black. Yeah. Of course, it would be one of us to be the domineering, mm -hmm. you know, uh, follow me. My man follows me. Jeez. It's like, it's crazy, you guys. Anyways. I just, I'm not interested. I just, I think that it is, again, I think that we are going to regret this mm -hmm. every time, you know, anytime these little movements happen, yeah. we, we are going to all live to regret this. Yes. We, you nice. know what I mean? Like, this is not good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, and any more of this matriarchy crap in our community, yeah, it's going to hurt us severely because mm -hmm. we're already, I mean, pretty soon, you know, you know, men are just going to just be house husbands. Well, yeah, and that as we always see a lot of that, and they're going to sit around and be depressed because that's you know men who men who men are more depressed now than they have ever been yeah. because they don't have a place anymore. They've been they're they they're, they're, they don't have they have everything in the world mm -hmm. for little girls. Mm -hmm. they, they they give you everything. I mean, when you're in school, that you can be anything mm -hmm. when you're a little girl. They have nothing for little boys. All right. You know, and people wonder why men, young men, are running to like the Andrew Tates and the Kevin Samuels and stuff like that because. Or suicide. At least, a lot of the suicide yeah. from young men has gone up mm -hmm. because a lot of boys just don't know where they belong anymore. Yeah. They have all of this inner stuff that, mm -hmm. you know, like, like there are things that we are just built to be that, yeah. we, that we just do on instinct. They're being told what they do on instinct isn't, isn't good, yeah. that it's actually toxic and that they need to suppress mm -hmm. their masculinity and let women take the lead. And I, that's just so unhealthy. It's I would good. never be on board with that. I think that that is just the grossest thing that we have done as I women. Know. It is. I mean, literally, it is the grossest thing we have done as women, and it mm -hmm. does not help our community at all. It worsens it. It makes everything much mm -hmm. worse. And then when you know, as the generations keep going, and we keep going like this, this will be in in the year two thousand fifty. This is going to look pretty bad. We can't let this happen to yeah. to men. We yeah, can, we can't. We can't do this. You know, what I mean, fathers are really, really important, mm -hmm. and I think we're seeing. You know, because I think in the past, I think men sometimes don't think that they are special mm -hmm. at all because we give so much to women. Mm -hmm, yeah. And they, oh, the mother, Mother's Day, and we, we make a big deal out of everything women do. Mm -hmm. But I think that now what we're seeing, we're seeing the... We're seeing the way, the way our country's run mm -hmm. right now. We're seeing the way the, the temperature of the country. Mm -hmm. We're seeing that what happens when you take men out of the equation. It's not good. It, it gets really bad fast. Yeah. It gets kind of scary, too, because the idea that our country will be led by women scares me. Because I know, as a woman, that things that I think sometimes get... I get led emotionally mm -hmm. and we could get in a lot of trouble if we don't have rational right. thinking. And I think men are much better than that because they think as they think for, they think it's the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. We think in the now yeah. and the, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so that bigger picture, our attitude is why we're able to make mm -hmm. these quick decisions. Right. And then our decisions are made, um, like some, not all the times, but a lot of times it's, it takes us a long time to make one mm -hmm. as opposed to being be de decisive on something. Yeah. And so it's, it's 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 the idea that we are putting men in the background is making me cringe. Creepy. And it's very weird, and I don't like it. And so when I see, you know, although people will say that's just a picture. It's a, no, it, it's the cli it's where no, it's we, a lifestyle. It's the, it's the, it's the, the climate of the life. country right now, and the climate of the world right now is that men are in the background, and we're trying to people are trying to keep them there. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing. No, I'm speaking out completely against that. But you guys let us know what you think. Um, curious to know, is this just a picture? Or do you guys see what I see? <laughs> Please leave some comments below. Love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the second half of the video. Bye.